Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? How about a nice, snuggly snow day reading. How about that? How about that? I don't know about where y'all are at, uh, but where I'm at, it's freezing freaking cold and snowing. Move to the south, they said. Get away from the harsh winters of Colorado, they said. And here I am freezing my tail off. If you're new to the channel, welcome subscribe to the tribe my analytics say that half of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers to my channel so if y'all would do me a solid and hit the subscribe that would grow my channel base and that would make me bigger and better and ever more powerful on youtube <laughs> Anywho, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're about to see, all right? Just do me a salad. You don't have to do the notifications and all that kind of stuff, but uh, subscribe would be nice. All right, you guys, I am going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out all the cards. I'll really confuse you for just a second, and then I'll go back to the top and read it to you in its entirety, okay? So y'all focus with me, focus hard. I know this is pre-recorded, but if you will focus with me, you will get the information that is specifically for you if this whole reading even resonates with you. So let's do it. Let's do it. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not yours. I mean, it's just not for you, okay? Get your own cards read. Get your own cards read if you don't like what I'm doing here. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective, the collective spirit of Taurus with me, and they want to know what you know. Spirit, please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times, and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that you want this Taurus to know right there. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I'll do it that way. Ooh, look, Hierophant in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Princess of Cups, the Lovers. Princess of Swords in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse, and the Prince of Cups. Look at that. That'll make hella sense to us in just a little bit. All right. First card out. High Priestess in reverse. Ooch. To the Devil. The Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse, the Princess of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse in the center of the reading to the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords in reverse, Princess, Prince of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands, the Hermit, and the Sun. Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Emperor in reverse to the Five of Cups. All right, and we'll take that too. Yep, Eight of Wands, we'll take that for sure, and the King of Wands for sure. Yep, look, hold up, we're not done yet. All right, we'll stop with that Alchemist in reverse. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, you guys. All right, let's do it. Let me pull my sleeves up here. Let me get comfortable and situated and we will figure out what all this is about. So what are our major arcanas right here? We got the High Priestess, the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and that's kind of it for a good minute. Then the Tower and the Sun. All right, all right, all right. Let's make some sense out of all this and see what they have to say here. All right, 
So the High Priestess in reverse. First card out, it sets the tone for everything. Queen of Wands in the center. This is what the whole reading revolves around. So tell me about the High Priestess then, please. Why is the High Priestess in reverse? On the floor is justice, okay in your best interest always in your best interest remember i said i was going to confuse you for a second so just hold on and let me work this out justice and the hangman okay the devil an attachment that is a restriction to your growth All right, Taurus, this is what's going on right here, okay? This is what's going on. We open up with the High Priestess in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse tells me someone out there is one of two things and possibly a combination of both. Someone out there is unhealed about something or someone out there is ignoring their intuition. They're trying to conduct themselves from their flesh-based human perspective instead of answering the intuition that they have inside of them, okay? And if it goes hand in hand, the unhealed person is refusing to let go of something, okay? Y you, Taurus, this is Taurus reading, right? And then it's followed by the devil in reverse, okay? This is about an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and by default it's toxic to your life okay i asked what this devil was about it's about the hierophant committing and the ace of cups in reverse repressed emotions so the attachment that is the restriction to your growth and by default toxic to your life is possibly commitment phobia <laughs> um possibly commitment phobia, whether it be in a relationship, a, 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 a emotional relationship, or in a work situation, um, there is, you have, this person has repressed emotions about commitment somehow, some way, and it is lingering, lingering with the high priestess in reverse and dictating your life with the devil, okay? All right, Justice says it's in your best interest to the hangman to take a step back and cut yourself loose from this tree with a new perspective, the Empress in reverse, because it ain't working for you, okay? It's not working for you. Whatever this is, whatever repressed emotions that you have about commitment um, isn't going to get you to where it is that you need to be or want to be in your life. The Empress in Reverse is someone who is not utilizing her full capacity to create the kind of reality that she wants to create for herself. The Empress in the Upright understands the two lessons that come before her. She's three, right? In the Major Arcana, she's Lesson 3. The lesson that comes before her is the High Priestess. Your intuition, High Priestess, your intuition is your ancient soul leading you, guiding you, and showing the way through this crazy thing that we call life, okay? Same soul that was back in the day, same soul that's gonna pick you up when you finally die is the same soul that exists inside of you right now, right this very minute, all right? It's trying to lead you, guide you, and show you the way of your very best and highest good, okay? What you think about becomes your reality. And the Empress knows this and understands this. The Empress in the upright, she will point her mind towards where her ancient soul intuition is leading her, knowing that it's going to be in her best and highest good, no matter what the situation or circumstance. In the reverse, this person is out of touch with that power and therefore there is a creative block between the Empress in reverse and the universe, okay? Justice, it's in your best interest to cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective and see, understand that you're out of control of the most important things that you need to be in control of. 
Therefore, you are at a crossroads. At a crossroads. At a crossroads. Why? The Wheel of Fortune. Because the divinely orchestrated steps of your path are right in front of you. All you have to do is flip that high priestess in the upright. Turn this devil in the reverse. It's all you have to do. How do you do that? You follow your intuition. Listen to what your soul is telling you. And release your limiting beliefs and detach yourself from some kind of toxic vein. Mm -hmm. well, look, in my hand, I didn't even realize the devil in reverse, right? Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, this unhealed energy right here about some kind of emotional wounding and emotional repression that is either keeping you from entering into a commitment or is rooted in some kind of a commitment that went south in the past and now you are afraid to dominate your own world because you have these lingering repressed emotions about this situation. The page of wands in reverse, it steals your motivation, it steals your gumption. This is disgruntled right? Supposed to be wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, but that's not it in the reverse, right? No motivation, emotionally guarded, perhaps. Why are you at a crossroads? Well, the universe is trying to divinely orchestrate something spectacular into your life, but they can't communicate with you for you to understand what's in your best and highest good with the justice card. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what's going on here, right? Seven of Cups in reverse. You are distracted, okay? You're distracted. You're not focusing. You're not seeing what it is that needs to be seen. Three of Wands, because they're trying to prepare you and get you ready for the Wheel of Fortune to turn in your favor, right? But they, they can't go against your free will. And if your free will is all out of control of yourself and, and involved in some deeply rooted issue in your life that you can't seem to get a handle on, that's on you. That's on you. All this goodness that we're about to talk about is waiting there for you right now. What do you got to do? Get yourself under control. How do you have to get yourself under control? R understand that your mindset isn't in the direction of your best and highest good, and you're not connecting with your path and your purpose. And therefore, you are in a conundrum. Okay. The Empress in reverse, again, she's here three times, by the way. This Empress in reverse is that Empress in reverse. It's a creative block. It's Taurus. It's the card of Taurus. It's Libra, too, but we're talking Taurus right here, right? And so is that Hierophant back there. Mm -hmm. Taurus is upside down, upside down. And death says there needs to be some inner purging in the hermit energy. We need to do some soul searching and some introspection about whatever situation or circumstance this is for you right here. Okay? Because source wants to bring into your life something spectacular, but there is a barrier up. And your free will choices will dictate how your records read in the future. Mm -hmm. Princess of Wands, um, there is an invitation that is coming to you, Taurus. Six of Wands, and it is um, going to bring you a lot of success to the King of Cups. Um, there is an invitation for some of you in the realm of romance. There is an invitation, invitation for others of you in the realm of soul path because the King and Queen of Cups, for me in my world, are soul connected energy, right? They're not about romantic love. They are about soul mate, agape, I know you before and I'll see you again kind of love, right? Come in and out when we need them, in and out when we need them. And it has nothing to do with romance at all, okay? But for some of you, it is going to be romance. And that's a little bit later in this reading, okay? So, 
There's an offer that's coming into your life, Taurus, and they need you to do some deep soul searching and introspection so you can purge this internal block so you can have an internal transformation and turn this empress in the upright, the devil in the reverse, and align yourself with what it is that's in your best and highest good. Center of the reading, what's the problem? Whole reading revolves around what's the problem? Well, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse is a bitter, pissed off person, male or female or somewhere in between or on the other side, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse is a jaded person. And I think that's what a lot of this is about. You're jaded, those repressed emotions up there, remember? You are jaded by some kind of serious experience in your past that did not work out for you. And the universe is saying it's time, justice, it's in your best interest, possibly because you, whomever is getting this, whomever's picking up what I'm putting down, whoever is vibing on my frequency here, um, whoever this is will see what they need to do in their life. And you will turn the empress in the upright. You will. The Queen of Wands in reverse is kind of where you're at right now. Just jaded. What are you jaded about? The Three of Pentacles in reverse. Shit not working out. Shit not working out. Love, romance, family, career, money, finance. Shit not working out. You have a lack of confidence in yourself and you are kind of jaded about it. To the Three of Swords, I'm sorry, the Four of Swords in reverse. This is talking about... Um, mentally restless about a lack of success, right? So in this previous commitment in your life, there was a, a lack of success. And that's the only thing that kind of ruminates in your mind about it. To the five of wands. The five of wands is about conflict, but I think this conflict comes from competition. And I think the conflict from the competition is rooted in the lack of confidence of the queen of wands in reverse. Okay. You were defeated somehow the last time you tried. Okay. The last time you tried in that hierophant card up there, you were defeated. Okay, and the competition aspect of it says that you don't feel like you have what it takes to compete somehow. Perhaps it's your looks, perhaps it's your skill set, perhaps it's your education, perhaps, and, and it doesn't mean that you don't have an education. When I say perhaps it's your education, maybe you're a freaking rocket scientist, but you need to get another degree to be what it is that you want to be. Okay, so there's some kind of, of sense that you're not good enough to have what it is that you truly want to have. And the universe disagrees, Taurus. The universe disagrees. The universe says you are good enough to have what it is that you truly want to have. And if you will point your mind towards where we are telling you to go in your life, and I don't necessarily mean physically, right? Inside, where, where do you feel drawn to? Do you feel drawn to start working out? Do you feel drawn to buy a set of weights off a of Facebook marketplace, right? And maybe just start lifting some a few weights? Do you feel drawn to going back to school? Do you feel drawn to getting some kind of certification or some kind of leveling up? Do you feel drawn to doing some self-study? Are you drawn to something that you can explore, create, and discover in your life? Are you drawn to it? If you are, then you need to listen because they're trying to lead you in that direction. But you are, you are hung up on, I can't. And these cards are saying you can. Nine of Swords in reverse, right? Anxiety and despair because of a painful lesson obviously from your past, or it wouldn't be a painful lesson right now, to the King of Pentacles. This would be Taurus being successful, taking control and being successful. However, on the flip side of things, um, the Two of Cups, preceded by the Ten of Pentacles, 
tells me that what the and the king of pet cups right here tells me that what the universe is trying to bring into your life is some kind of significant relationship whether it be romance work money finance partnerships um, landlords roommates dogs there's a significant relationship that's trying to be forged in your life right here and the Eight of Swords in reverse says you've got to get a new perspective. You've got to point your mind in a new direction because the Eight of Swords in the upright, she's all tied up in her mind and she doesn't realize that she's overthinking the situation, right? In the reverse, she's like, oh gosh, I see now. To the Knight of Pentacles because you've been in the Eight of Swords in the upright for a good long minute. A good long minute. Prince of Pentacles in reverse says you've been stuck there. You've been stuck there for a good long minute. The Ace of Wands. But there is an offer. There is something that is going to materialize in your life, Taurus, that you will be able to take advantage of, that is going to point you in a direction of an extremely significant relationship somehow. Okay? And at what frequency you are vibing at when this opportunity comes will dictate to you how much benefit you get from the situation. It will. If you are not prepared to engage in what it is that you truly want, then you will still manifest it into your life. It's just going to be all willy-nilly and wonky, and it's probably not going to work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You can't keep growing seeds on, on, on ground that is crusty and old with repressed emotions. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. You can't grow where you are right now. And the universe is like, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're ready to spread fertilizer and get this stuff going on. But Taurus is stuck throwing seeds on cracked and dry ground. Your weakness with the strength in reverse. You must overcome this. You must overcome it. Flip it in the upright. Flip it in the upright so you can be strong, courageous, and overcome it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. It's the Akashic Records thing, right? The tarot is every single situation and circumstance under the heavens that could possibly ever take place in, in a human's life. When you combine the water, the fire, the earth, and the air, the four elements that make up human nature, with all of the life lessons of the major arcana, upright and reverse if you don't do reversals you're only doing half the deck when you combine all of those together in a shuffled deck of cards it is literally every single situation and circumstance that could possibly ever happen in the existence of humanity what is the akashic the akashic records same thing. It's a record of everything. Your decisions, your choices, individually and collectively. And there's so many levels of the Akashic Records that what your free will chooses to do totally and completely dictates your story. It's ready, willing, able, right there for you to manifest. But if your mind is all upside down, you're not paying attention to your intuition and you're, you're manifesting all kinds of bullshit into your life, then that's going to be your story. Get control of yourself, right? Because your weakness is not being in control of yourself. Eight of Pentacles. Work, engage, and build your future. Eight is the number of movement, action, and change. Pentacles are earth energy. It is about changing, working to change your sense of well-being. And what is that? Flipping that empress in the upright to the ten of cups. So you can have the beautiful things that are truly available to you. King of swords in reverse. 
Two of Pentacles in reverse and the world in reverse. To the Hermit. Hold on. And the Sun. And the Six of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. And the Emperor in reverse. And the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. Now, if I was any old, regular, old tarot card reader, I would be saying somebody's angry, right? But that's not it. The root definition of this card is a misuse of power. And you can put a bazillion different situations and circumstances into the definition of a misuse of power. This misuse of power right here is you misusing your power because you're not recognizing the power of your mind and the power of connection to your soul. Uh huh. You're misusing your power. Two of Pentacles says prioritize this, balance this out to the world in reverse so you don't so you can stop repeating the same cycle over and over and over again in your life this whatever this is for you see the ace of cups in reverse those repressed emotions right if this is something that is just like jello in your subconscious mind deep down inside not on your consciousness not on your everyday but deep down inside of yourself this is what's ruminating this is what's manifesting this is what's creating your reaction to situations and circumstances around you and it needs to be cleared out because if it's not cleared out you can't Flip it in the upright, close out an old cycle of your life, and start a new phase of your life. Uh huh. So prioritize, prioritize and balance out what it is that we're saying to you, the hermit. Again, let's have a sit down. Let's have a sit down and let's talk deeply. Let's do some huge soul searching and introspection. Ground yourself. Come back home so we can show you the way because it's dark and cold and windy where you are and we will guide you to the sun, to happiness, success, and vitality. We will show you very, very clearly the exact path to take to make sure that you make the choices that are in your best and highest good while you try to navigate this insane thing that we call human life. Yeah, six of cups to the nine of cups. Family, home, nostalgia, memories, uh, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, and the emperor in reverse. So I need to ask about this. Spirit, tell me, what is the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups right here for Taurus? What is the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups right here for Taurus? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, okay, right, okay. And what else? What else is this Six of Cups right here? What else is this? Soulmate, soul, soul journey, soul memories, Soul mem Remember I told you with that King of Cups back there, it is some kind of significant relationship. And there is, there, there could be some kind of soul guidance, soul person that you are supposed to be forging some kind of a relationship with, but your saltiness has you not recognizing the situation. Uh huh. Look, and this soul person, the person that you are going to engage in this relationship with, is going to show you somehow that is the, the resource that the universe is placing in your life. And they are going to show you how to, how to have peace and happiness somehow, some way in your life, right? Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the Emperor in reverse. All right. All right, all right, listen, listen. <sighs> the Empress in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, they are on the same vibe, right? They are, they're low vibrational, out of control energy. Both of them are, okay? All right. What this is saying for whoever is out there is that if you don't get a handle on yourself, you will continue with that devil card to make the same mistakes and choose the same kind of relationships, jobs, and people 
over and over and over again because you don't feel like you deserve or have the ability to do anything better. Okay? All right? And what this is saying with this emperor in reverse right here is that if you don't change the way that you're doing things, you won't be able to fully and completely participate in the path of your best and highest good. Okay? Eight of Wands. Change. If you keep, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep doing what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. Eight of Wands. We need you to see this so we can change directions. The moon. Come to terms with some kind of huge emotional struggle in, inside of yourself. Come to terms with yourself. See the truth of yourself. Okay. Understood. 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 Okay. That's old. That's old. And then... The Five of Cups, okay. I think, I think I already read that Five of Cups. I think I did. It's about moving on anyway. And move on, right? Move on. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations and the Fool in reverse. To the Eight of Wands again. Your unmet expectations of your life are your own fault. <laughs> they are. Now, let me clarify for you, okay? They weren't your fault, up until the point that you were given this message that tells you what the problem is and how to fix it, okay? And if this reading isn't for you, then bless your heart, carry the fuck on, because this is for someone who needs to hear this, okay? Okay, I say K all the time. I know it's my thing. It can be irritating, but it's just who I am, okay? So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, your unmet expectations, the fool in reverse, it's your own fault. Until you got the message that calls you out, shows you what's going wrong and how to fix it, you weren't really accountable. You, you really, you weren't. You know, this high priestess over here, maybe you know all of this deep inside of you, and I'm not telling you anything you already don't know, but it doesn't change the fact that you're not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. And you're off course. You're off course and it is foolishness. Okay. To the eight of wands, movement, action, change. Look to the king of wands so you can be successful. The only reason it's the king of wands is because the queen of wands was already used in the center of the reading, right? It's the same energy. It is the pursuit of achievement and success, having your eyes on the prize, knowing that what you think about comes about, so being very careful what it is that you allow yourself to think about, knowing that your guts are your ancient self trying to lead you and guide you and show you the way. This King of Wands, he knows that. That's why he's in this posture. He's in a posture of contemplation because he just came out of the hermit energy. You just hopefully are coming out of the hermit energy. The hangman in reverse. Resistance, delay, stalling. Keep doing it the way that you're always going to do it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And you will continue to be imbalanced in your sense of well-being. This is your weakness. It's the second time strength is here. This is your weakness in your life. Deal with it. The alchemist in reverse. Because your untapped potential... Is, is your potential in life is being wasted. The universe wants to bring you some amazing, amazing stuff. Eight of Cups, just like the Five of Cups. You've got to move on, though, and realize that, that you can. And there is better. Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain the, that you carry in your mind. Prince of Swords in reverse because it's occupying too much real estate. The Ten of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles, to the Tower, to the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Wands. Okay, look, this is, this is what happened. This is the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Devil right here. This is the repressed emotions, all right? You had everything, you lost it, it imploded, hurt feelings, insecure, self-doubt, conflict, competition. And now you don't feel capable 
of participating. Okay? Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. All salty about everything. And then we have the lovers and the emperor. Lovers and the emperor. The lovers, yeah, sure. Love, if you want to, if it fits for you, why not? right? But the lover's card is ultimately about energetic attraction. It's ultimately about the frequency that you put out attracts the same frequency to you. That was why I was explaining the emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse. Low vibrational energy. If you keep vibing low, you're going to keep attracting low vibrational energy. Heal this wounding so you can move on and connect deeper with your soul and your soul path and ultimately source so you can vibe higher and find peace in all aspects of life. In every situation and circumstance, there is peace. When you're vibing high with source energy connected to your soul and your soul path, you vibe higher. And when you vibe higher, you attract higher quality people and relationships into your life. The universe wants to make this happen for you, but you have to cooperate. And the only way you're going to cooperate is if you dig in there and, and come to terms with the fact that it just wasn't supposed to be. The tower is supposed to be an indication that what we're trying to build upon can't bear the weight of what it is that we want to build. And you take a step back and you're like, oh, yeah, all those red flags I ignored about this whole situation or this person, all those red flags, 15 years later, here they are. And it's the tower. Right? Right on. Vibe higher. The emperor. Universe wants to bring in quality, I believe, soulmate, soul assistant of some sort kind of relationship into your life. Possibly for some of you, it's love. All right. What's last two cards? Problem, right? Empress in reverse. You're not standing in your power. And the wheel of fortune in reverse. Until you point your free will towards your intuition and your thought life follows it, we can't do anything for you. Point your mind in the direction that your ancient self through your soul intuition is telling you to go and do it. Spins the wheel of fortune in the upright and the wheel of fortune takes you to this emperor right here and the lovers. It takes you towards an extremely significant relationship in your life that is part of your destiny. It's part of your path. It's part of your purpose. But your bitter, salty, insecure self um, will not be able to participate effectively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the story, Taurus. Oh, wait, we got the bottom of the deck, right? Prince of Cups. There's an offer. There's an offer coming to you, and you must, must, must be ready. You must be ready. Princess of Swords in reverse um, to the Six of Wands in reverse, right? Not overcoming the battle. What's the battle? The seeds that you plant in your mind with air energy being a, a, a page, princess, okay? The seeds that you plant in your mind perpetuate a lack of success. Lovers, vibe higher. Awaken, enlighten, vibe higher. Princess of Cups. So you can be ready to receive what's coming towards you. And the Hierophant in reverse. A complete and total overhaul and reevaluation of your belief system. Taurus. Who you are, what you believe, how you want your life to be, what are the foundational stones that you want to build the rest of your future upon? Because back here, what you're believing in this little hierophant that was back here somewhere, there it is, what you're believing in that right there, those stones can't bear the weight of what the universe wants to build in your life. And you've got to reevaluate why you are letting this 
prevent you from everything that you could ever possibly imagine in regards to a relationship. Work, money, career, finance, family, home, love, marriage. There you go, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.